What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmatch Wrestling Recap. With Cardiff Wales right around the corner and Clash at the Castle, man, let's get right into a very entertaining episode of Friday Night SmackDown. How are you doing, Matthew? You know what, dude? I'm going to say is just what you were talking about earlier. We were talking about M80 explosives, and I were just looking them up. Wow, the 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 resol- or not the resolution, the brightness on my phone. M80s, man. See those firecrackers? That's what SmackDown was tonight. That's really that, what it was. It was that, just explosive all over the place. Even when we got back from commercial break, they just really kicked ass. And I'm going to talk about um the beginning of the show now. It's the twelve hundred, excuse me, the twelve hundredth edition of Friday Night SmackDown. Now, isn't that amazing? Yeah, dude, this show has been going on nearly as long as Monday Night Raw, man. I didn't realize it was the twelve hundred episode. And Amanda to kick off with a bang, our first segment, man. Let's get right into this. You know, usually I always say that Raw is the superior brand, but SmackDown tonight it just really showed. Um, and it's not that three hours spectacular, but you know what? Two hours was just enough for me. Now, opening the beginning of SmackDown, the twelve hundredth episode of SmackDown, um, August nineteenth. Ronda Rousey, her music hits. People were very surprised to see Ronda. Um, wow, cutting a nice promo when vowing she would not leave until her suspension was um, lifted, as she was suspended a few weeks ago. Um, Adam Pierce actually sent security after Rousey, who then proceeded to just wipe them out, um, hitting a nice arm breaker on one of the guards. It, it just was awesome to see SmackDown kick off like this, and then police arriving at the scene, actually arresting her, um, throwing her in the back of a cop car as actually a Yukon truck just like the uh past week Roman Reigns coming right out of that truck so nice swag way I guess you could say Ronda being arrested the tribal chief coming in yeah dude this made Ronda look badass man and uh Roman coming in that big uh Yukon truck man what a way to kick off Smackdown and the hits just kept on coming <sighs> phenomenal absolutely phenomenal it just was violent Rousey just kicking off the show now moving forward women's tag team title tournament Toxic Attraction versus Natalia and Sonia Deville. Um, so we were actually, I, I think we were supposed to get um Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons, but Shawn Michaels actually kind of announced earlier in the day that we are actually going to get um Toxic Attraction in replace for them. You know, I agree with that because they are a real tag team. Nothing against Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons, phenomenal in ring competitors in NXT, but you know, I think Nikita Nikita Lyons has some business going on with Eva Marie. So it just makes sense to keep her. Um, but just a great, a great match. The crowd was behind Italia a little bit, but um control actually comes Bailey Dakota Kai and EO Sky appearing prior to the bell sitting ringside and kind of heck, heckling the commentary team. But you know what? They didn't really have, really have anything to do with this tag team match. Just kind of keep the pressure on um the SmackDown um ladies so just a solid match kind of forcing deville into um kind of an unfamiliar baby face role um you know it, it's just something that we haven't seen in a while so you know what it is what it is but uh i was actually happy to see toxic attraction take a w as they're advancing one step closer to um gaining those smackdown tag team championships for the ladies Oh, dude, absolutely. And maybe with Toxic Contraction, we'll see Mandy Rose make her main roster debut once again, man. That would be awesome. You know what? I like Toxic Contraction. I could see them going pretty far in the tournament as well. Now, you notice how I said SmackDown Women's Tag Team Champion. I meant just the Women's Tag Team Champions because whoever is going to be Women's Tag Team Champion in WWE, they can go on. be on Raw and SmackDown, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm just a little too excited. I'm too excited for what our main event had to show. Oh, yeah, dude. Hey, this... After this phenomenal match, we see Sami Zayn actually joining Roman Reigns in his private locker room. So where he proceeds to actually rat on Jay Uso for being just hard to work with uh, for the past few weeks. And Roman actually agrees as actually Jay Uso calls. So apparently before the show, um, uh, the Usos were not able to attend SmackDown due to issues at the border. I guess they were at a house show. I- I'm not sure what exactly happened, but not nothing crazy. Um, but. Roman Reigns basically telling Sami Zayn before his five-way um, number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship winner faces Gunther um, at Clash of the Castle. Basically saying, Sami Zayn, um, bring the gold to the bloodline. Bring that Intercontinental Championship to the bloodline. Then kind of bring it up Kevin Owens a little bit. Kevin Owens saying he is also coming for the WWE uh, Universal Championship. But uh, Zayn, he just works well with those top guys. And you know what? Could we see him bring gold, get one step closer to gold um, in two weeks? Cardiff, Wales, later on tonight, a fatal five-way match. Now, let's just say that match was absolutely phenomenal, but we will get right to that. Yeah, man. I love how Sami Zayn's planting some seeds of dissension in the bloodline, man. And I could see him getting some gold and uh, rounding out the bloodline, man. And uh, way to go, Sami Zayn, brother from another mother. You know what they say? <sighs> 
I love Sami Zayn. Our next segment before the fi- uh, Fatal Five Way, um, Hit Pro actually interrupts the proceedings from Maximum Male Models, actually clearing oh. Max and Maxine Dupree from Marseille and Mansois. From oh, the- God, yeah. this is just so garbage. Actually performing a live concert of their new single, We're Back. Just, just something completely different. And their use of Hit Road and like, honestly, it was fine. It was great. You're not going to put them in action. Give them spotlight. And they just kicked ass on the microphone, just hitting one of their top singles. And you know what? It, it, Triple H, he knows how to use them. Yeah, dude. Triple H really knows how to fill time, whether it's three hours on Raw or two hours on SmackDown, man. Watching the show, man, it was really never a dull moment with uh, the camera cuts and just everything production wise. Yeah. Never mind the guy, never mind the superstars on the mic, man. It's just really good. Yeah. Now, throughout the night, we did see a nice um, promo. Well, basically a backstage, not a backstage. It was actually a recorded kind of segment with uh, the Viking Raiders at like a. Uh, an outside event just, just kind of creeping up on us that the viking raiders are here and they are better than ever um a nice um basically swag way into the viking raiders how they're just coming back to smackdown and they're just going to kick ass and then we see karen cross in um uh, just kind of a, a commercial i guess you could say hype up promo with um his lady i guess you could say with, Bordeaux, with last, man. just just Next an thing. ominous reminder that he is still a player to be watched um, but back in the arena, fatal five way Sami Zayn, Ricochet, Madcap Moss, Happy Corbin, and Sheamus. What a main uh, event! One contenders match, not a main event, actually. I will get to the it, you know what it, 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 I guess you could say it was the main event, it yeah. felt like a main event. I, I see what you were saying. Um, uh, winner faces Gunther at Clash at the Castle, absolute phenomenal match. Let me just say, Sami Zayn, he just was taking kicks here and he just kept coming back and then kept getting robbed. Um, Happy Corbin actually, uh, almost. Took a victory. Very close. I kind of got scared. Sheamus rocked Corbin with a bro pick for the win. Sheamus advancing, going to face Gunther in two weeks out Saturday at Clash of the Castle against Gunther in a kind of little championship match. I think I've wanted to see Gunther and Sheamus, and we're finally getting it. Oh, dude, this is going to be two powerhouses just going at it. Sheamus using that hometown crowd to his advantage, man. The roof is absolutely going to blow off the place if he wins that Intercontinental Championship. Uh, That was the best match of the night, for sure. We haven't seen something like that in a while. Well, before our main event, we actually had a quick match. Um, Liv Morgan making a way to the ring for a match with Shotzi Blackheart. Um, just kind of a exchange between both of the ladies all day on on Twitter. Shotzi controlling most of the match. Um, Morgan actually fighting back, delivering an oblivion for a pinfall victory. Hard fought match. Shayna Baszler actually attacked her after the bell and threatened to break Morgan's arm, but kind of opted to wait until Cardiff Wales when she could do it and take the women's title at the same time. I guess I guess you could say, but uh, nonetheless, kind of a filler match nonetheless you know what i mean it, it it is what it is it's it's not like i'm really happy with what they're doing with Liv morgan i feel like they could be doing better but i think we just have to get over clash of the castle and maybe we'll see better better talent for Liv morgan yeah dude absolutely i mean hopefully they keep this thing with her and ronda going because that's got platinum level heat right now but you know what i think shana baszler is more of a filler opponent and uh we'll have to wait and see what happens at clash either way i think it's gonna be a great pay-per-view Absolutely. Now, moving to our main event segment, Undisputed Universal Champion Roman Reigns hit the ring. Kind of a, a beautiful, a nice, beautiful, long, loud pop. A nice, long entrance also. Actually, then calling out Drew McIntyre, um, just bringing out Drew. It, You know what? We kind of had a nice little promo between both men. Basically, Drew saying he is going to take the um two titles off of Roman Reigns come um clash at the castle. But the a brawl actually broke out and Zane appeared shoving Reigns out of the way and eating a Claymore kick for McIntyre. So Zane actually saving Reigns from being rocked, but it actually didn't happen after Reigns was rocked by a nice Claymore. But you know what? I think we're going to see something happen with Sami Zayn and, and Roman Reigns in the, in the near future. Sami Zayn and the bloodline. Um, but Rue McIntyre standing tall with um, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Um, titles. So could this be a quick preview of what comes Saturday in two weeks at Cardiff, Wales? Oh, dude, I really think so, man. This show was absolutely action-packed. It really got me hyped up for Clash at the Castle. We'll have to see if Sami Zayn tries to get involved in some way, shape, or form. Now, let me just say before we we go, backstage prior to McIntyre actually um, coming out and Roman Reigns coming out, there was a place, Hourglass, um, 
in the back as McIntyre went to leave for basically the, the next segment before Roman would come out. So I guess our hourglass is a quick nod to Karrion Cross. So we cannot forget about that. Karrion Cross is in the background. He's kind of like an Austin Theory. You know, he he's lurking in the back. He's waiting, he's, waiting, he's, biding he's, his time. He's going to make some type of statement. But could we see Theory at Clash of the Castle? I don't know. Um, We'll keep everybody updated if anything else comes up. There are a few things that we want to talk about. We'll get a news uh, video up pretty soon. But SmackDown, none the less, uh, was a great show. Yeah, dude. If we rated it on a scale of 10, I think I'd give it a solid 8, man. Just really I'd give it an 8. I'd give it a 7.5, 8. Building up the hype for uh, Clash of the Castle. And uh, you know what? Cosmet will keep you guys updated on all the wrestling rumors news. And uh, definitely Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. Until we see you next time, baby. Peace out. Love it. Peace. Come on, if I-